know that you can eat in here. Man, Rob, I sing so beautiful, I should sing solo. As soon as I get a better gig, you will. Very funny. Very funny, Rob. Very funny. You're laughing too hard. Too hard at that. Rob, Rob, what are those, what are those folks eating in the back there? When you're personally financed by Walt Disney, you tend to think the entire world is your nest. But then you anger the tiki gods over 25 times a day. There are going to be consequences. Oh, drink it. <laughs> OK, Arnold. Drink it. <laughs> yeah. It's like he learned all his German from the Indiana Jones film This is News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Tom Corliss of WDWNT.com. Please like this video, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell to make sure you never miss the latest from the Disney theme parks all around the world. Here now the news for June 23rd, 2023. That date is important, of course, because as you see on the desk here, we're celebrating 60 years of Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. Opened 60 years ago uh, at Disneyland, the first one. It was the first ever audio animatronic show changed the industry and many of our lives forever. So celebrating today, we're celebrating on the website, we're celebrating here on YouTube. Uh, happy birthday to the Tiki Room, one of my favorites. The Energy Bite snack stand outside of Tron Light Cycle Run has added a new pina colada slushy to its menu. Uh, we went ahead and tried it. The pina colada slushy is $5.99. It's topped with chipotle, pineapple, matcha, and popping candies. In order to add this to the menu, they removed those dumplings. Those are gone now. I, they were bad. They were very bad, so I'm not surprised. Uh, but now this pineapple slushy takes its place. A good, a good treat offering for the summer months. Fireworks testing will be taking place at Epcot tonight, Friday, June 23rd, after the park closes to the public. This will occur between 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. Eastern, as noted in an advisory at the resort hotels in the area. Guests staying at the nearby resorts, including the Boardwalk, the Yacht Club, and the Beach Club, may hear the rehearsals taking place, which could include bursts of fireworks, lasers, and, the, and smoke or fog effects. At the end of May, of course, a crane arrived in World Showcase Lagoon of Epcot to begin construction on the new nighttime spectacular for the park. The tests on Friday may very well be connected to this new show. Epcot Forever is currently being performed nightly in World Showcase, though it's just a temporary show until a new 100th anniversary spectacular debuts later this year. A shimmering new Epcot Starbucks tumbler is now available. It can be found at the uh, Creation Shop, located in World Celebration, across from Connections Cafe, which, of course, is the home of the Starbucks. The Epcot logo stands in the center with the various icons of the park strewn around, about, I should say. The national landmarks of World Showcase are present, along with images of figment. I particularly like this because it's astronaut figment. Spaceship Earth, Test Track, The Seas with Nemo and Friends, Guardians of the Galaxy, Cosmic Rewind, and more. Mickey also makes an appearance wedged between Italy and Canada. And on the other side is a Starbucks logo imprinted, and each tumbler comes with a sparkly lid and a reusable straw. As well, Animal Kingdom finally got their version of the Tumblr Discovery Trading Company. It's $39.99. They all are. On one side is a wreath of tropical flowers filled with Disney's Animal Kingdom icons with the Animal Kingdom logo in the center. Mickey is marching along the bottom. Other icons include the Carnotaurus from Dinosaur and a flying banshee from Pandora, the world of Avatar. The Tree of Life is also pictured above a giraffe and an elephant, and a turtle is next to a Kilimanjaro Safari's truck. On the other side of the cup, again, is that debossed Starbucks logo. The sparkling lid is dark green, as is the straw. So now we've shown you all four, all four available now across the four Walt Disney World theme parks. A Walt Disney World cast member and their service dog named Pluto reportedly helped a guest who appeared to be having a heart attack at Disney's Hollywood Studios this week. Around noon on June 21st at Star Wars Launch Bay, a female guest appeared to go into cardiac arrest outside the Darth Vader meet and greet. A Star Wars Launch Bay cast member happened to be working with their medical alert dog and they were able to render first aid to the guest until the paramedics arrived. The cast member and dog continue to help the guest's family, including her infant son. The service dog, pictured here, is appropriately named Pluto and is from Waxahachie, Texas. The photo was provided by an eyewitness who contacted WWNT with their story. 
Of course, many Disney cast members have service dogs, which are individually trained to alert and assist their owners with various medical issues, such as heart problems. Last month, Disney introduced Noodle, the first canine Imagineer, and Noodle's owner, Jacqueline, a communications professional intern at Walt Disney Imagineering. This is a great story. This is the stuff we like to read on the show, not the fist fights and all the other nonsense in the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District. This is great. This is a heartwarming story of not only cast members helping guests, but a cast member. Uh, I mean, the dog is a cast member, too. The cast member service dog, um, you know, helping to save someone's life. This is a great story. This is this is what we like. More of this, please. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, Be Our Guest Vacations. Your dream vacation begins with Be Our Guest and their concierge team of expert vacation planners. Head on over to BeOurGuestVacations.com slash WDWNT, and the team will design your next magical vacation from the Walt Disney World and Disneyland Resorts to the Disney Cruise Line to Adventures by Disney and more. They're also able to book unforgettable VIP tours where you and your group can experience the ultimate park day. The best part is their concierge services are 100% free, so book today. We also want to thank Be Our Guest Vacations for being the sponsor of Where in the World is Tom Corliss, our new game show, which will debut on episode 250 of WDW News Tonight over on the WDWNT TV channel. You can check that out at WDWNT.TV. That episode will air on July 6th live at 9 p.m. Uh, this is a very big deal for us, this game. It is by far the most complex show, segment, game whatever you want to call it. it. It is incredibly complex what we've done, and uh, we wanted a prize that would match that, and our good friends at Be Our Guest have offered one. Uh, the grand prize for this game on a regular basis will be a four-night stay at a Walt Disney World moderate resort of the winner's choosing. They'll also get a, I believe, uh, don't quote me on this second part yet, um, but I think there's also a snack basket and $200 in credit towards tickets and other um, uh, vacation needs at Walt Disney World. It's really a fantastic prize, and it is a incredibly fun and challenging game we've created where um, if you ever watched Where in the World is Carmen San Diego back when it was on PBS in the 90s, you will no doubt be familiar with what we're up to, and it is going to be a load of fun so make sure you join us for that and if you come in person you might be able to play we'll pick three people uh, out of our live audience every time we play the show on a thursday so stay tuned for that it's always island time at disney's caribbean beach resort we recently visited to check out the family style dining at sebastian's bistro and see if it is truly the best value in all of walt disney world you can watch the review right here on our channel or you can read it at wdwnt.com included are some new items they added a fish um, to the family style uh, plate that comes out they've changed the vegan dish as well we reviewed all the vegan offerings so please please go check it out disney springs has announced a new culinary series featuring chefs and sommeliers from disney springs restaurants appearing during the 2023 flavors of florida event Culinary series will take place this summer at Waterview Park in Disney Springs, where guests can learn from the experts at popular Disney Springs dining locations and get a taste of their fresh Florida fare. Registration for these demonstrations is complimentary, but space is limited, so guests should register ASAP once registration does open for these. Wine Bar George is hosting a demonstration with Master Sommelier George Miliotis. Uh, George and the Wine Bar George culinary team will be in action demonstrating how to make the Decoru Burrata, their Flavors of Florida menu item. They'll share tips to help you recreate this delicious dish, which features ingredients sourced, of course, from Florida. And you can enjoy a sample of the burrata at this event. It'll be on July 7th uh, from 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. The Play Pig will host a demonstration with James uh, Petrekis. Uh, uh, Chef James will be in action demonstrating how to make Key West Pink Shrimp Ceviche, the Flavors of Florida menu item from the Play Pig. That'll be on July 14th from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Meanwhile, Chef Art Smith from Homecoming uh, will be in action demonstrating how to make the famous shrimp and grits from his restaurant on July 21st from 10.30 to 11.30 a.m. Gideon's Bakehouse is hosting a presentation with Steve Lewis, the owner and creator of the establishment. Enjoy a glimpse into the origins of Gideon's Bakehouse, a Central Florida business that started in a home kitchen with one goal, to create extraordinary chocolate chip cookies. Learn how Gideon's is bringing Florida flavors to Disney Springs with delicious menu items that are crafted with care using high-quality ingredients sourced from the state. That is on July 28th from 10.30 to 11.30, and I definitely am going to try to go to that one. The Disney Springs culinary team will present a demonstration with Chef uh, George 
uh, Paulson, Chef Jennifer Ladisky, and Chef Gary Miles. You could see the Disney Springs culinary team in action demonstrating how they make some of the flavors from Florida items served at select restaurants. They'll share tips to help you recreate these flavors at home. Items may include Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar, the Florida Shrimp Tacos, and the Ganacheries Key Lime Pop and Honey Lavender Square. This is on August 4th from 10.30 to 11.30. For this one, there are no advance uh, registration. Uh, there's no advance registration for this one. Just show up and enjoy the event. But seating is first come, first served. So please give yourself ample time to get to Disney Springs where you may park as early as 8.30 a.m. and enter as early as 9. More information on all these events at www.nt.com. The Disneyland Paris cast member unions have been invited to a June 26th meeting with Disneyland Paris to examine plans for upcoming negotiations this year. According to DLP report, the Disneyland Paris cast member union shared that Disneyland Paris has invited them to a meeting finally to take stock of the situation and to share the calendar of negotiations in the second half of the year. As of now, no new strike action has been announced. Of course, for the past several months, strikes have been occurring at Disneyland Paris with increasing frequency and intensity as cast members request wage increases and quality of life improvements in their working conditions. Their hope is to obtain higher wages to match inflation. For the first time in forever, the guards will open up the gates at World of Frozen in Hong Kong Disneyland in November. It's actually the first time ever they'll be open. It's an entirely new land, drawing inspiration from Walt Disney Animation Studios Frozen and Frozen 2, featuring the iconic characters and stories from one of the biggest Disney movies of all time. Brand new concept art has been released for the various aspects of Arendelle Guests will get to experience. You can embark on a journey to the North Mountain where Elsa's Ice Palace awaits as part of the Summer Snow Day celebration on Frozen Ever After. Upon leaving the harbor, you'll meet Frozen friends Olaf and Sven in a snowy forest under an ice crystal tree created by Elsa. You'll notice some of this concept art looks very similar to the Epcot attraction. Uh, some other pieces are a little different, like Olaf and Sven on the other side of the path. The uh, layout, layout looks a little different as well. Um, for the most part, it is the Frozen Ever After attraction you know. Um, there will be slight differences. And after completing your journey, Anna and Elsa and Olaf will be waiting to welcome Voyagers back hand in hand from their visit to the North Mountain. Meanwhile, the first Frozen-themed roller coaster anywhere in the world will be Wandering Oak and Sliding Sleighs, as built by none other than Wandering Oak and himself, according to the attraction's lore. He enlisted the help of his buddies Olaf and Sven to power the attraction as they work together to pull the sleds to the top of the lift hill. Before hopping on the coaster, you'll spot Oaken in his sauna and walk by a column he's working on that's carved with trolls. Then there's the Golden Crocus Inn, named after the national symbol of Arendelle. It's one of the most popular spots in town. Uh, this will be the primary dining area for the land, promising a diverse array of cuisine. Tucked away in the village of Arendelle is Tick Tock Toys and Collectibles, a toy shop operated by a woodcarver and his wife. This will be the central merchandise location for toys and keepsakes that include elaborate character carvings. The playhouse in the woods will be found within the forest, uh, having the doors of Anna and Elsa's childhood playhouse uh, opened to celebrate Summer Snow Day. It'll be an interactive play experience for children. Again, uh, I am not the biggest Frozen fan, but man, I am excited for this land. This just looks really neat. Um, I love the fact that you get to step into the world. The interior of these shops, the interior of the rides look so fun. We've got something completely new in Sliding Sleighs. We've got an updated, upgraded Frozen Ever After, which I already thought was a solid dark ride at Epcot. Now it feels like it'll be uh, more than that. I am very excited to see this finished product in November at Hong Kong Disneyland. For the absolute latest on these stories and all that didn't make it into today's show, be sure to check www.nt.com and follow us on all your favorite social media platforms. You can support the entire team behind this show and others by joining the WDWNT Interglobe Society at patreon.com slash WDWNT. Get access to exclusive content, discounted show and event tickets, and more. Special shout out to all of our Wigs members watching who make this show happen every week. And of course, Wigs members do get discounted admission to our unscrupulous 16th birthday party happening right here uh, at both the Walt Disney World Resort and WDWNT Celebration from July 6th through July 9th. Find out more about it at events.wdwnt.com. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Tom Corliss saying, enjoy the rest of your today, and have a great big beautiful tomorrow. From WDWNT-TV, this is Park Center.
Join us each week for news and discussion topics from the Disney and Universal theme parks around the world. We cover the stories in a quick, concise, and fun format, and then our panel breaks down and debates some of the biggest issues and what they mean for us, the parks fans. From the latest announcements to openings and delays to scandals and snacks and merchandise and more, we'll cover it all in 90 minutes. Join us live every Sunday night at 9 p.m. Eastern on YouTube at WDWNT-TV or watch episodes on demand anytime. You can also subscribe to the audio version of the show on your favorite podcast app.